Brother Wes, it's great to have you here on Reach Gospel Radio. It's good to be here. We love your music and we really love your legacy. You've been doing this for a minute and all of the many songs that you've recorded that have blessed audiences all over the world. We're just thankful to have this moment. I feel the same. All very, right, very man. grateful to be included in what you guys are doing. Thanks for the support and uh, giving me platforms to get the gospel out and reach. Yeah. Amen. And you know, my, my main question for you is this, because you've been around, you've seen a lot. The reason we call this reach is because we're more than just programmers. We get outside the walls of the studio and we go to the places of the city where people say, it's hopeless. The cycle cannot be broken. It will always be this way. Why should we use the power of gospel music to bring transformation, but also get out into the streets, get out of the studio, get out of the church building, and take it to the people organically? Why do we need to do it through vehicles like Reach Gospel Radio? Well, I think it's, it speaks for itself. I mean, first of all, you just stated what you're in some sense of uh, sense and form, you stated what your vision is, is to bless and take it outside. So reach Gospel Radio is just another way for us to impact uh, the community. Gospel music is so powerful because some people who won't listen to a preacher will listen to a song yeah. that'll hook them. And you know, I love what Jesus, he said to his, to his disciples, he says, follow me, he says, I'll make you fishers of men. And I think that that's what we have to understand is that we are fishers of men. What I, I, I'm, I'm not, I like to fish if the fish are biting. I, I don't care to sit out there and yeah. not catch no fish. Yeah. So when I go out there, I want to catch some fish. So, you know, when you understand, we don't have time, but when you understand what an allure is, when you put on that, it is to entice yeah, that's fish. right. And so this is another way for you guys to fish for souls, and this is just another principle that Jesus Christ taught while he was on this earth in the gospel. Amen. Reach. 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 Go into the highways and hedges and compel Cast them. Cast your nets again. Yes. Do it again. And every time you throw it out, he'll bring in a harvest. Mm -hmm. One other fast, fast thing here. We're 100% listener supported. Every few months, I got a room full of telephones. People are supporting us every few months. It's a miracle. Why should people support something like Reach Gospel Radio, in your view? Encourage the people to support us. Well, I think first, there's many reasons, but two reasons that, that stands out to me. One reason is because, again, what I just said, this is another platform, a way for us to reach people who in many times would not be reached. That's number one. And number two, to support gospel artists who give their lives. Now, I can tell you, for me, I'm just being transparent. Y'all shoot me up if you want to. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christ fanatic. But I'm just going to tell you right now, I could be singing R&B and be happy about it. But I have been mandated by Christ to do gospel music, and mm -hmm. that's what I do. And so this is another way to support gospel artists. Yeah. How, how can we expect gospel artists to create the music that gets us through the toughest times of our life? Yeah. Tells that we can make it. Yeah. We can get through it. Yeah. Choose to worship. You know, I, I just so many songs that you play on your radio, set, radio station 24 7, I imagine. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so that's another reason. I mean, we need to support our own. One of the things that frustrated me is I heard somebody talking about how this gospel piano started going over and playing RB. And um, I started asking about his financial situation, and they said, well, we're we just not in a position to do what we need to do. I said, well, you cannot frustrate the process and, and, and muzzle the oxen. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to sow into the oxen. So let me just say this directly to, I don't know which camera I'm talking to, but whichever ones it is. I just want to tell you right now, this is an opportunity for you to sow into kingdom business. This is not something we do because we just want to do it. We do it because we're mandated to do it. God places us on this earth. Listen, I promise you, I hate to disappoint you, but there are some days I don't want to preach the gospel. I don't want to sing, but I do it because God has mandated me. He has kept me. He has preserved my life, given me a platform, and we are here for you. Support what we do. We love you for it. And that's what I think we need to be saying right there. Brother, as they say, you hit the nail on the head. Yes, sir. 
and I appreciate it. We appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah, love you much, man. Thanks for your time, all right? All right. Is that the drums of war?